Uh, I want to do a quick video just to walk through a new feature that is coming to Microsoft Forms. This is something that a lot of other survey tools uh, have some capability to do. For example, if you use their system called Qualtrics, which has something called an embedded data, basically what it allows you to do is distribute a survey or, or create a link to a survey that will pre-fill certain data, certain responses in the form uh, so that you don't have to, you know, basically to, to lessen the burden on the person filling out the form and, and in some cases to help ensure that they're, answer, they're entering the data that you want them to enter. Um, in Microsoft Forms, they call this you know, pre-filled data or pre-filled form. Um, and really what it does is it creates a URL for the form with some query string parameters, which are just basically chunks of code at the end of the URL to the form that pre-fill or preset certain response data. Uh, so in the case of an event feedback form like this, so I want to send a link to the people who attended um, one of these sessions, so maybe Parents Weekend. So Monday after Parents Weekend, I want to send a link to this form to all the people who attended, and I want to pre-fill, preset the form so that Parents Weekend is automatically selected for them. Uh, the way we do that is to click on the three dots up here and select Get Pre-filled URL. Now again, this is not generally available yet. Um, and at this point, my testing, it's only available for personal forms. So um, hopefully by the time it becomes generally available, it will be available in personal forms as well as group forms. But for right now, those are the, the parameters we're working in. So we'll select Get Pre-filled URL. And I have to enable pre-filled answers. And then I'll select Parents Weekend. And then all the way at the bottom of the form, I will click this Get Pre-filled link. So when I click this, uh, it's going to generate that link. And just to take a look at the link, up to this, it's a normal forms link. And then there's the ID, which is the ID number of the form. But if we keep going through that URL, you'll see there is an ampersand. Ampersand is basically query string parameters. The, the question mark starts the parameter section. Uh, and then additional parameters are added via ampersands. So this base ampersand indicates that there's another query string parameter coming. And this big, long, ugly string that uh, is basically all of this is the internal identifier for the question that I'm pre-filling. So you would never guess that. Um, so it's a good thing I'm explaining this a bit, uh, but basically it's saying, for this question, fill in the response parents weekend. And those percent 22s, uh, well, percent 22 is basically an encoded double quote character, and percent 20 is an encoded space character. So it's basically saying, in this question, pre fill parents weekend. But when I copy that link and then paste that into a new browser window and hit enter, you'll see that Parents Weekend is automatically selected. Now, the person could select a different one for some reason. Um, so this is not a guarantee that they will leave that selected, but it does, as I said, lessen the burden, makes it a little bit easier, prevents them, hopefully prevents them from selecting the wrong one because they would basically need to select something else. If they see the Parents Weekend is already selected, then they'll they'll likely just go on and answer the rest of the questions. Uh, so that's a really quick example of how you might use this in a very simple way. Now, there is a more, you know, sophisticated, there, there are basically other things that this, other possibilities this opens up. Um, one example is a lot of times people, you know, taking a Microsoft form, adding a Power Automate flow to then create an item in a SharePoint list is very easy. A lot of people say, well, how do I update that list item after it's created? That with using a Microsoft form. Now, that's a little more complicated because you need to be able to match up, identify that specific item that was created and 
feed that data into the form that people are filling out. So in this case, or in that scenario, you could have a question which is which item do you want to update and pre-fill that with the ID number of the item that was created. Uh, it's a little more complicated. I'm going to do another video later kind of demonstrating that, but just wanted to let give you an example of a more uh, expansive or more sophisticated use of this functionality. So yeah, it's great that right now we can just pre-fill answers, but it does, you know, it seems like a small thing, but it opens up a lot more capabilities down the road, especially um, as it becomes generally available and, and hopefully available on group forms as well as personal forms. Uh, so that was just a first look at this. Uh, again, we'll, I'm going to set up another scenario and, and build a more uh, business process around this to show kind of how you might use it in a more productive way uh, or to do something that we technically can't do right now in Microsoft Forms. So hopefully this was useful to you. Uh, if you like it, please you know like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, and if you have any questions, throw those in the comments down below. Thanks and have a great day.